Hello, I am Piotr and in this video I will show you how you can export flashcards uh, from Buboflash to Supermemo or Anki. Flashcards in Supermemo are called items. Uh, so to export flashcards we need to search for them. This is the link to search for flashcards. We can search on many criteria like tags on flashcard, say. Okay, and here is our search result. Um, export is enabled only if we choose a criterion either who edited it or who memorized it. So let's say we are interested only in flashcards created by myself or memorized by myself. We can also narrow it down to a specific, say, week, so we can export only what we were wor uh, working on last week. Uh, now, if I search, I can see I can save the search result, that is of course here, I can save it in different formats. The reason why I had to choose the user who is behind the flashcards before exporting is that we really do not want to accidentally export thousands of flashcards that we are not really interested in. Um, we can uh, we have to narrow it down either to ourselves or a specific user or people from our group who we follow. Okay, so let's stick with myself. And let's save it both for Super Memo and Anki. So I do this. Save link as And Anki. Right click. Save as. QA uh, export. Anki. Okay. Uh, let's see first what the files that we just exported look like. So. This is Super Memo, and Super Memo has um, text format, is able to uh, import a text format with lines starting with Q and A. And it is able to import um, HTML. These lines are ignored by Super Memo number and ID. These are just for us. ID is Buboflash ID. And now Anki. This line is ignored, it's for us, but this line is not ignored. Uh, this is uh, ID, uh, Buboflash ID, but uh, we can use it in Anki to overwrite existing flashcards rather than importing the, them twice. And Anki uses comma separated values. So let's try to import it. Super memo first. Uh, I switched it to warrior layout. Uh, yeah, warrior. So we have access to import tools, QA. Okay, we don't have much choice because Super Memo does not uh, understand our IDs, so it will always create new flashcards. Uh, and it does not understand uh, tags. So I chose to make them a part of the question only. Okay. And 
here we go content what we just imported so you see this is a question and this is answer and this leads us back to the same flashcard in Bubo Flash, and these are um, tags. Unfortunately here they are just for display where well, we can search by them but uh, they are just part of the text. Let's go back. Um, super memo insists on opening everything in um, Internet Explorer, but here we go. This is the this is the mm, flashcard. We can copy URL and go back to our Chrome. Yeah, because we are logged in here. We can see it properly. So that's it about Super Memo. Now we can go to Anki. Now Anki. So import. We choose the file. And now we have more choices. So we allow HTML, fields are separated by comma, uh, and we want to override if we import um, the same flashcard twice. As I showed you in the text file, the first field is the ID. So this is what we are choosing. We don't want to import the ID. Uh, Next are tags, then question, which means front in here, and here is back. Uh, okay, we can import. So, this is what it looks like. And again, oh, these are um, the tags again, and this is the link back to um, the same flashcard in Bubo Flash. Fortunately, Anki mm, respect our choice of browser, browser, and we have it in we have the same flashcard in uh, Chrome. Uh, and one more thing, if we prefer to have it formatted like in Bubo Flash, I mean left aligned, uh, we can change it here. Uh, sorry. It's this part. Text align left. Close. And it looks like in Bubo Flash. Show answer. We can study. So that will be it. Uh, if you want to use Bubo Flash just to create your learning material and then go to Super Memo or Anki, you can do what I just did. So thanks for watching and see you on Bubo Flash.